Off on a new adventure. Yeah. Off to the apple fields to find the big one. Taranto's Valley, here we come. One week ago, Mickey Taranto, his wife Viviani and their three-year-old daughter Felicia drove 1,000 kilometres from the Queensland coast to Opalton, a remote desert outpost where 50 degree temperatures and torrential storms have shaped one of the most inhospitable habitats on Earth. Oh, finally here. Hey! Hey, bro, how are hey. you? Jillian, mate. <laughs> They've come to help Big Brother Joe continue a family dream. My dad and brother, when they hit the opal, I was seven years old. I jumped over a bit of spinifex grass and my dad looked down while I was jumping over and he spotted a bit of colour. I just remember pancake boulders coming out everywhere. The best opal I've ever found in my life was from that first spot. Yeah, it's been 30 years since I've come across that opal, but nothing compares to that. Oh, yeah, I feel like I missed out. I've had a few punts at it over the years, trying to find the big one like Joe and Dad did, but never quite got the big one, and I did miss out, and I'm keen to find it. To have any hope of digging the trench, the Taranto brothers will need the skills of Joe's 16-year-old son, Jack. Jack, Jack, you got a copy there, Jack? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, Bugs, um, oh, we've, got, we've got a bit of a level here. I, I need to um, dig it out and see what's there. Can you come down for us? Yeah, I shouldn't be too far away. Hey, here he is, about time. So what do you me to do? Just walk it straight down to the job. Down there, once you get down there, I'll explain everything to you. Brother, right, I'll get on to it. Jack's my son, he's 16, he goes to school in Winton, and he's been living with me for the last two years. He was a kid growing up, he always was on the machines operating. Yeah, I love driving the machines. It's good to have the feeling of the power of the machines. It's destruction, it's amazing. We're going to dig a bit more than just a trench here now. And we'll, we'll see what we got. Hopefully we get on the level and we can all then come down and have a crack at it, you know? Fingers crossed there's Opal there. We're after the big one. This is the rock we're chasing. It's always in this yellow clay, which is surrounded by the clay. And this is the good rock. We need a rock with some colour in it. That's good ground. Got a bit of green there? It's good indication. Yeah, well, they're the signs that I was looking for. I wasn't actually looking for the opal, but I was looking for those indications that show me that it's going to get better as I go deeper. The more eyes the Tarantos have in their huge 10,000 square metre open cut, the more chance they have to find Opal. Mickey, yeah. you get on the excavator, dig the level, yeah. and I'll get down the hole, Tash and I, yeah. and yeah. Vivi and little Felicia, you can stay on top. Yeah. So what we miss, you, you guys can, um, you okay, know, we can check. double check for you us. You can check what's coming out of me bucket. Baby! See, see what I found? Look, red line. Oh, yeah, that's a good line. Tash, look at this. Red line there. We've got a line in here with a bit of red in it. That is awesome. That is something special. I found the brother. <laughs> Tash! You found the brother. You found the brother like that. Yeah. Joe's amazing like that. They call the brother the one that's come off it. Oh, twins. Woo! Good start. Got a bit of red. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, no. I don't feel good. I need the bigger hammer and I can't break this up. Oh. Yeah, he was complaining about tummy aches, so 
Ah, uh, I reckon he's got a bit crook. Maybe he needs to go to the car and sit down up there, out of the hole for a bit. Joe, out of all people, you know, he's normally in there 110%. And for him to walk out of the hole is a big thing. I think both got some gastro. Don't know what it is. Yeah, it says 186, high, so seen. Okay, just do the 408. Okay. Calling yeah. the flying doctors to see what advice, uh, okay. which one to give them. Out here, we got a flying doctor's first aid kit. 200 kilometres from the nearest major hospital, Joe and his son Jack have been hit with a stomach bug, forcing the whole Taranto family to stop work. Thanks for that. Well, I'll, hopefully I don't have to ring you later. So we give them one of them every eight hours. That just stops the um, vomiting. Yeah. He said, don't worry about the diarrhoea. They've got to get it out one way. Yeah, And yeah, he said it's better to come out the other end than the top end. It's more tolerable. <laughs> So, under the tongue for Jack. I'm not touching him. The Royal Pine Doctors are really there for you at any time in the outback. You can call them and they said they will survive. It's big babies, look at them. It's pathetic. These big, tough, opal-minded boys. <laughs> Harden up, boys. It's a devastating blow for the family. Barely days into their season. We're in really good ground. We pulled up the ironstone we were looking for in one of the holes, and we got trace. We were thinking we were that close to hitting the big one. So we were, we were all getting excited. We were on some really good trace today, which was really exciting. Then Jack's come down with um, gastro. Jack never gets sick, so it must be pretty bad. Then two hours later, Joe came down with the gastro and he never gets sick. But really, I'm spewing because now I'm going to have to sleep in the swag outside, away from our cosy feathered doona, which I don't even want to touch now. It's probably infected. I'll get some of the concrete in the back of the house and tell them to eat it and harden up, eh? Everyone wash their hands. I just, I can't catch this because I can't get sick. This season, me and Joe are going to find the big one. With the whole family together, I think we'll, we'll, we'll be a good team to find Opal. I think we'll have a really good season. Oh, the goat is yes. <laughs> but if the machines aren't breaking down, the people are. Um.